Hello. Ayan na. Hey guys. Good morning and welcome to my Facebook news feed. This is Mar De Leon. Hello, hello. And this is Ginger Arboleda. Okay, so wow, feeling ko parang talk show. Oh, hi. <laughs> Ang ganda may How do you like our backdrop, guys? Ang ganda, 'di ba? May backdrop pa kami. So sa mga kamag-anak ko at mga friends na hindi pa alam na I'm now working uh, for Taksumo uh, as the product manager and growth manager. So lakpakan niyo. Lakpakan na rin. Ang dami po lakpak. Galing lang sound effects natin. Ang galing, no? Ang galing parang live. Speaking of Taksumo, birthday. Ay, nasa yung balloon? Ay, ay nasa yung balloon. Is the birthday? Ay, yung balloon namin. Is the birthday of Taksumo? Yay! Happy birthday, Taksumo! The birthday of our CEO and co-founder, EJ Arboleda. Happy birthday, EJ! Woo! Libre, libre! 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 Burger! So, yan, ganun. Pa-burger? Sana yung, next time, papakita natin yung mga tao yung dito. Yung ating mga, ating yung teammates. aming live sound effects yeah. dito. Anyway. Uh, Ayan, may mga sumasali na. Hello, good morning sa'yo, Tana. Hello. Hello. Patricia, Marie Rodriguez. Hello, Graciela. Hello. Graciela. Randall? Randall. Pakilike naman kami, please. Yes. Like and uh, heart. Ayan. So, yung... Ang daming may birthday today, Mark. Oo nga. Sige, greet mo natin. Tinignan ko, tinignan ko yung Facebook page ko eh, di ba? Pati na natin, Luisa yeah. Jimenez. Happy birthday. Oh, kailan ko si Luisa. Ay, kailan mo yan? Hi, Luisa. Oh, mutual friend. Oh. Ayan. Alexe Villaraza, happy birthday. Miss Angel Antonio, happy birthday yeah. also. Miss Rose Benipayo. Oh, feeling, feel na feel ko parang radio station tayo. Sinang gusto niyo pong batiin namin? Pakilagin yes, lang sa pakilang. comments. May Ayan. request kayo na song? Pwede rin. Pwede kumanta si Marv uh, para sa lang. inyo. Hello, Lira Alvarez. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Birthday rin pala ni Christine. So, first time ko actually, mag, or second time ko mag-live sa aking page. Na, ah, sa aking profile. Na, uy, ba't may sad naman? Oo oh, nga, huwag kayong sad today. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So the main reason we are here is we are answering your questions. Top questions about taxation. So we know that taxation is not a sexy topic. Yes. But it's necessary to talk about because uh, yeah, we need to um, pay our taxes, especially for earning as freelancers or uh, business owners or even employees but uh, since uh, we're catering to business owners and freelancers so we're focusing uh, our uh, yung talk today about yung questions sa mga business owners but if you have questions about employee income tax pwede rin naman uh, you can ask our consultant after yes for full disclosure no kami ni Marv are not CPAs but we're we've both um, gone through corporate diba we've both gone through freelancing and then also negosyo na rin no kasi like sort of freelancing is basically a business also no even if it's a profession we treat it like a business diba so and of course since we deal with a lot of uh, taxation problem and concerns also of our different customers tinutulungan namin sila with all of these we sort of already know also um, some of the answers to your questions if we don't know yung answers ninyo don't don't worry we will raise it sa aming mga we have taxumo tax consultants uh, these are the people who answer you when you go to taxumo consult page nandun yung mga consultants namin yes. all of them are cpas all of them have been vetted already uh, by Taksumo also. Na alam na alam talaga nila. And they've been with us for many months. Uh, actually, years na. Sorry, mm. years na pala. Third year na pala namin to. Yeah. Ayan, for years already. So, magagaling talaga sila when it comes to taxation. Yeah. So, but we'll try to answer um, your questions. No? Yung yes. mga questions sa pinadala ninyo kay Marv sa kanyang wall. So, uh, sa mga nag-join, uh, thank mm -hmm. you, Christian, Pex, and Roxy. Okay naman yung audio namin, video. Uh, if okay, if you're ready to um, hear yung answers namin sa questions nyo, you can also type in your questions din pala. 
yes, now. Yes, please. Pero if uh, you're ready to for us to uh, to listen to our answers, please comment uh, taxation or, or tax na lang para ma-exit. Comment <laughs> tax, <laughs> right? A comment <laughs> tax dyan, please. Ayan. So, to so try we know na, na naririnig nyo yung sinasabi na. Yes. Na so try namin yung Marv sagutan yung mga questions niyo or baka mag-call a friend kami pag hindi yeah. namin natin kung hindi namin alam niyo sagot. Oh, hindi pa sila ready. Please comment tax. Oh, oh, please comment tax if ready na kayo to begin with answering these questions. Trish, comment kami ng tax. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, comment naman kayo para start na tayo. Ayan. Ayan. Thank Ayan you, si Marian. Ayan. Thank you, Marian Manzanillo. One more para ano na. We can oh, go. Isa pa. Come on. Okay. Comment on, tax. Kay, kay or yun, siguro comment busy tax. sila. Nasa Baka naman, the ano, drive nasa, or something. Oo, oh, oh, yes. Sige na nga. Okay, sige. Start na tayo, Marv. First question. Ayan, ayan, ayan na, ayan na. O may delay lang Baka, konti. Yes. Uh, from Rika. By law, foreign income is not taxable. Bakit po taxable ang income ng mga freelancer considering it is technically a foreign income? Okay. Okay. Sige. So, alam mo, nakukuha namin to kadalasan na no, yung question na to kasi marami ng freelancers na nasa taxumo. Um, yes, tama. We're required to declare yung taxes na, na yung, sorry, income that we receive dito on Philippine soil. Kasi by law, lahat ng mga income that we get on Philippine soil should be declared. Um, yes, as Filipino, sorry, Philippine, Philippine citizens, not only on the soil, actually. Oh, yan. Sa aming, alikot uh, dito. Ay, meron Mr. kaming call a friend dito. Meron tayong expert. Ang agad namin mag-call a friend. <laughs> sige, sige, sige. Ah, sige. Ulitin mo. So, anyway, okay, if you want, okay, meron kasing RR number Oh, yeah. yan ah, paki-take note. RR number Type 1 up. slash 2011. RR, yan. RR number 1 slash 2011. Yes, 2011. <clears throat> okay, so yung RR 1 slash 2011, nandun yung parang definition of what an OFW is. Nung binabasa ka kasi namin yung thread dito, parang you were discussing, ano ba talaga, what, um, what is an OFW, di ba? For yeah. some people. Yung definition pa lang kasi kailangan maliwanag yan. So, ang OFW talaga are the workers who are basically employed elsewhere. No? Hindi dito sa Pilipinas, employed abroad with two documentations na kailangan. Yung POEA at saka OEC. So, pag may dalawang ganon, yun, you're allowed or parang exempted kayo from, again, in income tax. Okay? So, they need Valid Overseas Employment Certificate from OEC. Mm. Okay? So, yun yung dalawang documents. Unfortunately, mm. wala pang ganyan na agency for freelancers. Wala pang ganyan. And so, I think naman... Pero um, ito pa, Marv, nung binabasa ko rin yung RR kasi, si OFW, pag may negosyo siya sa Pilipinas, they're still required to declare. Ang hindi lang nila it declare is yung employee, yung salary nila. nila doon. Yes, as an employee. And this is because may tinatawag tayo na um, tax reciprocity. Okay, what is tax reciprocity? Tax reciprocity kasi is basically, di ba, kunwari ako OFW, employed ako sa ibang bansa. Yung employer ko, siya na yung nagbabayad ng tax for me. Parang dito sa Pilipinas, di ba, nung employed tayo, ang nagbabayad ng tax sa atin is yung ating employer. So, in the same way, pag may mga foreign nationals dito na employed by a company, yung employer nagde-declare ng kanilang taxes, di ba? So, ngayon, yun yung tax reciprocity. So, beyond that, for example, if an OFW has a business in the Philippines, they need to declare. Ngayon, as freelancers, di ba, it makes sense na kasi we treat freelancing as a business. We're independent contractors. We're not really employees of our clients, di ba? Um, so we need to declare the income that we that the income that we receive. Now it's a different case if you are um, you have an employment contract with your client. So with that, maybe maare, ah, not sure. Maybe you can check with other people. Maare, you can get the POEA, you OEC documents. It's a matter of ako ah, on my personal personal opinion, Kamar. It's a matter of documentation, eh. Diba? If you can fulfill naman yung documentary requirements for you to be tax-exempt, 
then well and good. Baka pwede naman din sila yeah. tax exam. Ganun lang naman eh. Very ang um, compliance. Pero may nakatry na freelancer tapos nag Oh, nga eh, di ba? Maganda, interesting to know kung meron dyan freelancer nung nakatry let us know, let us know. na magpapass ng, kunwari, employed ka by your client talaga tapos kumuha ka ng mga ganitong documents. Pero hindi ko rin alam kasi, I'm not sure also kung ano yung mga requirements for POEA, OEC. Baka kasi meron talaga oh, pakita mo. Pwede kailangan talaga. O, oh, pakita mo nga, alis ka ng, ng Pilipinas, yeah. pupunta ka anyway, ng Pansa. Anyway, you can clarify that. Di ba? Uh, so, ganun siya. Income tax exemption. So, in relation to that, uh, kailangan po ba, si, si Romel, may question, kailangan po ba talaga magbayad ng tax kahit barya lang ang kinikita sa online freelancing job? Well, maraming benefits din kasi of uh, basically paying taxes no, as a freelancer. Nandiyan na yung later on, kung gusto mo enjoy yung pera mo, hindi ka makakapag-loan sa banko para sa kung gusto mo lang bumili ng bahay, ng kotse, kahit ang kotse, or um, mag-open ng credit card, kailangan mo rin ng ITR or yung tinatawag nating income tax return, ba? Diba? So, um, kung magbabakasyon ka, gusto mo enjoy yung fruits of your labor, kung pupunta ka sa mga countries like Japan, ano pa bang may uh, visa Korea, ba diba yan yung mga sikat nating mga places to visit, or even US or Europe, no? So, hindi tayo makakuha kasi ng ng visa if wala tayong proof of income. The problem kasi with, syempre, freelancing, wala tayong employer. So, wala tayong 2316. Yan yung binibigay ng employer sa atin pag employee tayo, yung 2316. Wala tayong uh, certificate of employment kasi hindi tayo employee. So, ang nangyayari, wala tayong payslip. Also, alam naman gawin mo ang payslip yung sarili mo, ba diba? So, kung independent contractor ka, freelancer, or consultant, Usually, ikaw talaga magpapakita ng credit standing mo. Basically, kung ano yung records mo financially, to put it in simpler terms, no? So, the only way you can prove naman that, one of the ways that you can prove, hindi naman the only, no, way is kung meron kang uh, ITR, income tax return, and sometimes bank certification, di ba? Bank certification, kung magkano yung balance, eh, kung mayaman po tayo at liquid tayo, at milyonaryo tayo, malam mo papayag naman. Siguro ha, hindi tayo sure. We'll talk about that pala, no? yung pagkuha ng visa next time. Yes, pwede, pwede. Kasi ngayon, marami akong natutunan dyan sa pagkuha ng visa na yan na hindi, lang, hindi pala talaga sure kahit na mag-send ka ng documentary requirements. Like yan, bank certification at pakitang mayami. But ITR, since it's a government report or it's a, it's a go, parang you submit to the government, it's a legal document really. So they look at your uh, tax forms, they they see na if you regularly pay your taxes. Tapos yung income tax na yan, uh, what people know is the annual income tax return, which is yung deadline every April 15. But you actually regularly, quarterly, basically pay your income tax uh, sa BIR. So ganun siya, you have to be a regular payer. So sa mga magbabakasyon, actually this... Um, uh, Bermonts, kausapin niyo na si Marv, kailangan na nating magbayad ng pinakahuling income tax return, which is your quarterly income tax form, this coming November. So, habulin na natin kung gusto natin magbakasyon sa mga bansa na ma- that requires visa. Yan. Ang dami ng questions. Ang dami questions! Butin lang uh, sinasagot na ni Thank you, EJ. EJ. Happy birthday, EJ. Um, Siguro we'll focus on the questions na we got. Yes, we got a lot Chronological. Actually, yes. kay Julian is next. Okay. Uh, sa mga, those who just joined us, please uh, like our stream para mas marami maka- and share na rin yes. ang public naman to. Eh, we're talking about uh, we're answering questions about taxation. Tapos, feel free to comment kasi sinasagot din ni EJ. Oh. So, ayan, ang saya natin. Ang yes, daming yes. pumapasok. Also, pala yan, uh, Trish or Rex, Jojo, or whoever Jan will also answer you dito sa page ni Mark. Yes. So, question with Julian. Question. Which of my expenses can be deductible and which can? So, yun muna. Um, by, ito na lang ang tatandaan nyo. Basta kaya nyo i-defend sa BIR examiner na related siya sa business ninyo, then go. Ipasok ninyo siya as an expense. Ano yung example na hindi related? na pwede okay. masilip. Uh, maraming 
example na hindi related, kunwari, uh, gym membership, ganyan. <laughs> tuition fee ng anak nyo. <laughs> Parang gano'n. Okay. Huwag natin ipasok yung tuition fee ng anak ninyo. Okay. Uh, okay. Ano pa ba? Ako, yung mga naisip kong hindi ko pinapasok eh. Ikaw ba? Ano mang hindi mo pinapasok as uh, freelancer? Ano ba? Siguro yung, yun nga, yung mga yung personal. Yung mga personal eh. Mga personal eh. Malalaman mo yung mga, oh, grocery. Hmm. Ay, hindi, grocery. Depende kasi kung, kunwari, ang, ano mo, is ang events. Or, oh, events. Eh, di pwede mo may pasok ang grocery. Business, or yeah, food grocery. business. So, depende oh, rin. Depende, depende kasi. So, Tapos, ano pa yan? May direct and indirect expenses. Okay, ano ba yung difference ng dalawa? No? Direct and indirect. Direct expenses are those related directly to your business. So, for example, bigay tayo na yung example. Kunwari, ako ay... Oh, yun, freelancer na lang. Maraming freelancer kasi. Freelancer. So, let's say, kuryente. If it's under your... If the bill of Meralco is under your name, then you can... Then you can siguro get a portion of your Meralco bill and declare it as expense. Yeah. Kasi a portion, kasi a portion of that sa bahay ka eh, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, pwedeng ganon. Um, ano pa ba? Laptop ninyo, pwede nyo ipasok yeah. as expense or ano pa ba? May nagtanong, online course. Yes, oo. So, yung education, mga, kung oo, coach ka. Or... Yung mga EDMs ninyo, electronic uh, mailers, example, MailChimp, pasok nyo yan. Uh, Tapos yung invoice, isave nyo lang, no? Um, also pala, don't forget, yung mga supporting documents natin, when I say supporting documents, yung mga resibo, you have to keep it. Yung mga online invoices, grab, if you're gonna use grab uh, to go elsewhere to get mm-hmm. clients, you can also pasok nyo yan, but you have to keep also the, yung invoice. In-email naman nila, di ba? Uh, in-email nila, so keep that. Kasi every time na mag examine yung BIR sa inyo, they have to see na may katumbas siyang supporting document. Yes. Yun siya. So whether official receipt or mm-hmm. better official receipt. Better like, official receipt talaga. Invoice. Yes. Ang mga medyo lenient sila pag foreign services din. Mm-hmm. Mga ganun. Pero pagka maganda rin na yung kunwari mga PayPal mo, i-charge mo, uh, yung mga, ay sorry, yung mga... Ano pa ba? Ah, sorry, Facebook. Let's say Facebook ads. Ah, Charge yeah. nyo na lang sa card as well. Mm. So, may withholding na kasi pagka sa card. So, ganon yung mga ganon. Pwede yun. Declare. Meron bang question pa related to that? Anyway, uh, we can go to... We have uh, siguro mga 13 yes. minutes. Uh, follow up. Uh, another question from Julian. What is the best advice on tax, tax avoidance? avoidance or... Not okay. tax evasion kasi yes. that's obviously... Uh, totoo naman. So, um, Para optimizing siguro, yung tax... We'll say uh, this ano, in the context of hindi kasi corp yung market for taxumo right natin. now. Right now, no? And, uh, and I think pag corp kailangan na talaga ng CPAs. So, accountants, we have tax consultants again via taxumo consult. no? So, sila yung makakabes um, tell you about that. But when it comes to, let's say, professionals, uh, micro-businesses, and uh, sole proprietors, um, what we can say is that the best tip ko is you have to know your numbers. You have to know your income and your expenses, the level of your income and expenses. Why? Because there are certain choices when it comes to tax filing that you can use to optimize yung taxes. For example, we have this thing called deduction method. No, Deduction methods, uh, there are two deduction methods. One is optional standard deduction, and the other one is itemized deduction. So yan yung dalawang types of deduction method natin. Ano yung pagkakaiba ng isa sa isa? Yung optional standard deduction tells the BIR na, oh, BIR, 40% of my gross revenue or yung kinikita ko are for my expenses, regardless of kung ano siya, basta 40%. Itemized naman takes into consideration line-by-line line expenses. Okay, lahat ng expenses mo. So ngayon, yung, di ba yung sinabi ko, maganda na dapat alam mo yung level of expenses mo and income, gross revenue, basically. Hindi income, gross revenue and gross and your expenses. Why? Because for example, nalaman mong beyond 40% pala of your gross revenue or yung kinikita mo, ang expenses mo, pero ang pinili mo OSD, eh di lumugi ka. Kasi tataas yung, mas mataas yung tax mo. Then, yeah. uh, then you should have actually paid 
mm-hmm. lower. Yeah. Kung, kasi more than 40% eh, tapos hindi mo alam more than 40% pala. Pero ang pinili mo, OSD. Kasi yun yung naririnig mo or yun yung alam mo from other freelancers as well. Pero marami ka palang expenses. Yeah. Diba? So sayang naman. Uh, th- those naman na konti lang or below 40%, tapos nag-itemize, sayang din. Kasi di sana na-optimize mo yung 40% na yon At yeah. bababa, yung, bababa yung mga tax, yung tax juice mo, basically, because of that. So yung mga ganun, uh, those are little things, pero nandun yung optimization when it comes to us. Eh. Mm. And always, no, always, always, always pay on time. Kasi sayang ang penalties. That's why with Taksumo, we always remind you Taksumo's deadline kasi is two days earlier than the BIR deadline. So we always remind you, first day pa lang ng buwan, sinasabi na rin namin na, oh, ano ah, mag, mag, tingnan nyo na, tingnan yung mabuti na na-upload nyo na lahat or na-encode nyo na lahat ng mga resibo nyo. Or, and then parang nabibigay tayo on the 10th, parang gano'n, yeah. no, ng reminder na parang, oh, tax deadlines are coming up, so be sure that you file. We also post on Facebook. Kasi sayang din yung penalties, eh. Yung penalties kasi ng BIR, you have your compromise, which is automatic 1,000 pesos per form. Mm-hmm. And then you have your surcharge and interest. Surcharge and interest is based on your gross revenue. Mm-hmm. So, pag may kinita ka, tas dideclare mo pala, tas nalate ka, based on that yung 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 surcharge mo, tsaka interest, sayang, di ba? So, in short, to, yun nga, yung, to minimize your um, tax uh, na babayaran nyo is to know your expenses. Yes. Parang at least, alam mo yung business mo, alam mo yung, mm-hmm. uh, whether yung, yung option of uh, OSD or oh, itemized. Okay. Uh, and you sabi mo na pay on time yes. to avoid penalties. Saka maganda rin naman yun, Marv, na parang maaga pa lang, lalo yung mga freelancers at saka micro and small business, MSMEs natin, no? Na ma-develop nyo yung habit of tracking yung mga income, yung income ninyo and expenses for your business. Kasi at the end of the day, hindi lang naman dahil sa tax, di ba? So, kung yeah. tutuusin, when you monitor your income and expenses, it's for the sustainability of your business. Mm-hmm. Alam mo na, ay, may kinita ako. Ang pangit na parang magninegosyo ka, tapos hindi mo alam kung ano yung, na, ano yung kinita mo, di ba? Uh-huh. Kung lugi ka pala. Tapos isa pang nakikita, not related to taxes, no? But yung personal income na hahalo natin yeah. sa business. So, we don't have a clear picture of what we should what we are earning also as freelancers or business owners, so sayang naman. So that's also really the reason, no? we're, we're trying to develop this habit where uh, everyone tracks yung financial standing ng business, financial health ng business. Okay, um, yes. sorry, this is our last question, we're running out of time. Uh, unless meron... Ay, yung iba namang nag-comment na right now na answer na ating uh, CEO. Yes. So, uh, but yung mga nag-send kahapon, um, ito na yung last. What do you think is the best way for freelancers to set up their tax obligations considering they might transition to agency later on mm. hiring people? Sinil. Sinil. Yes, Sinil. Sinil. Yeah, hindi ko pala naman nabab- napabanggit yung mga name. Neil Reichel. So, S Corp ba? I think this is a one-person corporation or sole proprietor. Okay. Yung Will it kay have an effect on taxes, pros and cons? Okay. So for those who don't know, no, one way you can register also, lalo na pag for freelancers, kasi freelancer yung mag-ask, um, you can register as a professional. Uh, some people don't know that, no? Akala nila the first step is just so prop ka agad. But you can register as a non-licensed professional. So these are the consultants, these are uh, these are the freelancers, the virt- digital workers, Yung licensed professional naman, yan yung mga may PRC licenses. So, yan yung doctors, engineers, yeah. occupational therapists, etc. No? So, um, so, yung question ni Neil, kasi magkakaroon daw siya ng uh, virtual employees. assistant agency. Diba? So, yeah. employees na yan. Siguro, it's best that you already register as a sole proprietor. Kasi yung sole proprietor means na parang meron ka ng team, may workspace yeah. ka na rin, uh, 
and then magkakaroon ng tax, in terms of taxes naman, mm. mapapansin natin, wala masyadong difference when it comes to paying taxes for professionals and sole prop. Mm. The only difference comes in pag meron ka ng merong, uh, let's say, uh, employees because you're already required to pay, pay. compensation taxes, yes. withheld taxes for compensation. And then, ano pa ba? When you, let's say, pay for rent, so, or you pay suppliers, sorry. Mm. When you pay suppliers, you're already required to withhold. So, yan na yung magkakaroon ka, magiging withholding tax agent ka na. Mm. So, withheld taxes expanded mm. naman ang makikita mo sa COR mo. Singil kasi nakausap ko sa event. Oh. You, mm. I think yung more in question niya yung one person corp versus sole proprietor. Ah, maybe Parang that. Parang gusto niya yung to okay. that. Maybe so, that. Yung advantages? Well, one person, one person corp is treated like a corporation. Mm-hmm. you will have to pay corporate taxes. So corporate okay. taxes right now is around 30%. Mm-hmm. Uh, minimum that you have to pay is around 2%. So mataas ang corporate taxes. So yung con, Plus, yung pros of being? Ang pros naman of being a corp, later on, if you're looking for investors, it's easier to transition, like get stakeholders. Mm-hmm. Like kunwari, uh, mga board of the, yung mga investors, stockholders, mm-hmm. ganon. So ganun yung transition. And I think yung liability, so, yes, and liability also. So the one person corporation, being a corporation, and mm-hmm. siya, uh, separate entity, legal personality, yes. separate entity. So, uh-huh. in case magkaroon ng mga lawsuits, mm-hmm. hindi sa ma- Oh, yung, yung, yes, hindi yung personal assets mo yung. Hindi yung tao mismo, so, but one yes. person corporation. Yung if S Corp he... yata sa US or LLC. So, uh-huh. pro. Limited. Uh-huh. Ano pa rin? Parang personally liable pa rin. Ikaw. Yes, kasi tin mo pa rin yun eh, kahit na sole prop ka. So, ano ba yung magandang example? For example, yoga teacher ka, tapos wala kang main studio, no? So, you're a professional. Pero pag nagkaroon ka na ng sarili mong studio, that's when you shift to sole prop. Parang ganun. Mm-hmm. Uh, yun yung parang best example na maisip ko. Eh. Or, uh, although, yeah, pagka, let's say, Lazada seller, kasi maraming sellers, di ba? Lazada, Shopee, Shopify seller. Uh, for Lazada sellers, let's say, dapat sole prop ka na. Kasi meron ka ng mga stock, existing stocks, goods and services, yung mga ganyan. So, in terms naman of non-VAT versus VAT, if you reach the threshold of 3 million gross revenue in a year, then that's where you shift to VAT. It's actually based on the gross revenue that you receive. So, ganun siya. If I, i, ano natin, kasi di ba may one-person corp coming workshop for Manila Workshops and Taksumo on October 5. Mm-hmm. So, for those who are interested to sign up for one person corp workshop it will be on october 5 just go Sini. to manila workshops yes just go to manila workshops uh, dot com and then look for one person corp and then you can uh register there yon kasi mas magandang explain siya ng accountant so we actually ito attorney we um invited a lawyer to explain talaga one person corp yeah and I think, yeah, we're um, wrapping up and running out of time. Thank you, yes. Ginger. But before we go, we have a special um, announcement. announcement. Since it's our the birthday, birthday today of Taksumo, our so if you avail of any of our services, mm-hmm. uh, we're coming up with a new subscription plan. So, Ginger, you can... Ah, yes. Yeah. So we have, we made it simpler for everybody because... Sa totoo lang guys, yes, tama kayo. Medyo magulo nga yung pricing namin before. <laughs> Maraming tatanong, so ano nga? So ano nga yung, baba, ano ba yung packages nyo? So yung package namin ngayon, it's very simple. So we have three packages. We have professional, we have micro, and we have uh, SMB package, okay? So for eight person, uh, sorry, for the professional package, these are those uh, pero it's still, ano ha, you have to check your COR or your certificate of registration pa rin and see kung ano yung inclusion sa packages na to ha. So, yung professional, it's at 10K. Sorry, tumiting yun ako ng kodigo. 10K <laughs> per year. Pero madali lang, 10, 20, 30. Ayan, ganun yung pricing. So, 10,000 for professionals, 20,000 for micro, and 30,000 for SMB. And that's for the entire year already. Annual na yun. Wala na kayong iisipin. Kasi naisip ko rin, like ako, when I was starting a business, 
ayoko nang isipin na kailangan ko pang magbaya mag, ayun, may babayaran pa ako kailangan yeah. ko pa itabi so ginagawa ako at the beginning of the year or ngayon no as early as now for next year binabayaran ko na para hindi ko naisipin yan. So, tumatakbo na lang siya for the entire year. Ang gagawin ko na lang, babayaran ko na lang yung tax filing ko. Yes. Yun na lang yung iisipin ko. Diba? And you also have a service na juice. tayo na mismo mag-encode. Diba? Yes, meron so, din. So, for uh, t- additional 12,000 a year, yes. uh, we will upload nyo lang yung photos nyo ng um, Recibo. receipts. We'll take care of the encoding. Uh, and another, yung yes. other services natin? Like yes, especially for those who are ranch. traveling, di ba? Correct. Kasi marami dyan na mag-travel this November. Habulin na natin. Ngayon pa lang, this September, collate na natin lahat ng documents na kailangan for business registration so that we can help you process it. For freelancers, it's at 11750 But take note, yung 11750 na yon already includes processing fee at actual government fees. So wala nang patong doon. Yun na yun. So we we'll take care of everything. Hindi yes. na kailangan, you know, pumunta sa mga sa GUs. LG, to... sa, sa, ano, sa RDO. Para, sa RDO. Ah, yeah, yes, kasi yung... Yung 11750 na yun already gives you your Certificate of Registration or your COR. And then you also have your ATP, your Authority to Print, which you will need for reprinting your OR booklets, uh, your Stamp Books of Accounts, and also, last but not the least, your 10 initial OR booklets. So lahat yon kasama na po siya dun sa fees namin. So after that, you basically start your business. Hindi lang start. Continue, I mean, continue already your business and then uh, look for bigger clients because may OR na kayo. Pwede na kayo mag-charge sa mga corporations. Maghanap na tayo ng mga local clients. And yung ating, if they have questions but they need to mm-hmm. consult someone, we have our tax consult yes. service. Yes, we have our Taxumo consult service. So you just go to Taxumo. Ay, bibigyan ni Mark yung, ay, ni Mark yung link si later. Mark. <laughs> yung si Mark pala. <laughs> Yan si, uh, bibigay ni Marv later. later yung link. Yan, na-distract ako kasi nandiyan yung yeah. Taxumo Consult. So, ayun nga, may special announcement kami because it's our birthday. So, yes. if you want to hear that, please type the word birthday sa comment. Yes. Trish, birthday. Pakay naman. <laughs> <laughs> type birthday. Type yun na yung birthday. If you want we'll to know kung ano yung promo. Special, special promo. promo. Special anniversary promo naman. May delay lang, may delay. Pero uh, I'm sure may delay. I'm sure. <laughs> so just use this code, yun na, yeah. birthday, when you uh, sign up. Ayan, birthday! Ayan birthday. na, ayan. Ayan, sige, type, type. At taxumo.com. And, yun, we'll give uh, 500 worth of uh, GCs from Starbucks to the, to the first five people who avail of any of our services. So whether it's uh, yung plants na na-mention ni Ginger, Yung tax consult yes. or yung business registration. So this is the first for the first uh, five people. And ay, pinakpan ko yung mic. Nadinig niyo ba? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, we will announce it sa Taxuma page, yung yes. birthday. So simply, yeah, use the promo code birthday. Birthday. B-A-R-T-H-D-A-Y. Ay, birthday yung simula, B-I-R. <laughs> oh, B-I-R. <laughs> Gal- Ayan o. No. Ay, mali. <laughs> Hindi sa dyan, hindi sa dyan. Yan, BIR, BIR. birthday. <laughs> Pero sorry, hindi natin ito magagamit sa Taxumo Consult. Pag-consult, message na lang si Marv. Pero yung uh, sa ah, yeah. plans, sa plans yeah. namin siya magagamit. Ayan, pag sa magsasign up. At saka sa BizReg, pwede, pwede niyong sabihin kay Marv. Kung gusto niyo ng business registration, just message na lang Marv. No, i-PM niya si Marv kung gusto. Yes. Or kung interested kayo sa any of our services, just tell him so that ma, ano niya, maasikaso niya kayo. Yeah. Okay. Lampas ang konti, 10.04. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you for joining us dito sa aking Facebook uh, profile. We'll be having also, parang ganito, uh, tax, yes. tax, tax tips, related. Tax Tips Tuesdays <laughs> uh, tax tips sa Tuesdays. Taxumo Facebook page. So yes. please like the Taxumo Facebook Ang next Facebook naming page. topic, maganda, like uh, requiring ano, parang, ano, visa application. Yun. Ayan. Visa application and kung bakit natin siya din discuss kasi hindi siya tax. Yes. <laughs> so yan, abangan nyo yan. We will have a guest from um, agency, travel agency. Mm-hmm. Okay, so every Tuesday mornings, uh, yung ating uh, Tax Tips Tuesday. Nakaka, nakaka, ano. Yes, 
Kung may questions pa kayo, don't forget to just You can still comment, comment here. Yes. Uh, we'll later. answer. Yung mga hindi amin na answer, we will uh, take it up sa Tax Talks. Tips Tuesdays. Man. Tax Tips Tuesdays. <laughs> tax Tips Tuesdays. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye. Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday, to EJ. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, EJ. Bye. Bye.